to Thursday Res Fave. Where's your apron? Oh. <laughs> and guess what we finally get to do? Buffalo stew. I grew up as a kid eating a bunch of buffalo. Pity mine. Did you get <laughs> no, it's mutton, so. Uh, we grew up eating a lot of mutton stew. Especially with my aunt, the one that passed away, my late aunt. Um, always had mutton, no matter what. You go to her house, you go visit her, she'll slice up some mutton, she'll fry it. And then if uh, she'll make stew for you. My aunts, my uncles, I would come by and visit. She'll cook mutton for them. And she was the only one that had the mutton hooked up like that. So my mom never really cared for mutton. We didn't eat it. But since I went back to my aunt's a lot during the weekend, this is what we had. So <clears throat> basic mutton stew, which is mutton, water, vegetables. That was it. And fried bread. And she had tortillas. So uh, when she did mutton, she did bread it with flour. She would pan fry it, give it to us. Hey, give it to us, some of the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Feed us. <laughs> but we had mutton in our freezer for quite some time. And we usually try to have stews on Sundays as here as a family, but it's been kind of hard lately because we're doing something and, you know, we can't really babysit the stew. But today I'm making it. It's after work. So we got the roaster, so I'm searing the mutton that's in here now. <clears throat> Smells really good. I just put um, olive oil in here. I have this on the highest temp right now, which is like 500. <clears throat> so I'm gonna cook this for about like 45 minutes. You know, all the flavor in there. And not your typical mutton stew like what normally you would have because I added season in there. I added garlic salt, I added parsley, I added minced onion, I added onion powder, I added um, one more ingredient. One more, oh white pepper. <clears throat> so that's all in here. I'm just trying to brown the meat, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to brown the meat. That's going to cook in there, and then I'm going to add this one in here. We found this <clears throat> at an Easter hole. One of those rabbits tried dragging this in, so I grabbed two of them. During the Easter egg hunt, I grabbed two of those. And this one, we love celery, so I'm going to add the whole thing to celery. Uh, we have pasoli, 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 however you want to say it, but Sue doesn't want it, she said, ew, gross. Pasoli, it's, um, <clears throat> isn't it, um, hominy, or? Hominy, corn. Corn. What? No, pasoli she didn't say is that. the stool. She likes it with, um. Pasoli <laughs> is the stew. <laughs> She likes it with green chili, green chili pork, so yeah. we're going to have that with green chili pork, and this one's going to be, we have frozen, we bought this in a pack, and it came with like a starter kit, right? <clears throat> so I think we still have our vegetables. The... Almost like cucumbers. Squash. Squash. So I'm going to put that one at the end, because they're cut really thin. I'm going to put that one in the end, put some potatoes in there, and uh, Susan makes some of her delicious, fabulous, award-winning Gallup 505 <laughs> uh, 2021 winner five bread. So if you guys didn't know, she won the five bread contest. <laughs> uh, they had it over at the mall, and she won. She went from, I think there was 10, 
she won first, so there's no one between first and third, so she took all three categories. So she won that five bread. <clears throat> I'm going to cook this for about 30 more minutes, and we'll probably give you guys more of the story. But this is just basic mutton stew, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Fave, look what she's making. Tortillas. No, oh. fried bread. <laughs> Almost ruined it for me. It's <laughs> like, fine, then I'm not gonna eat. <laughs> What's wrong, spoon? So, this is our stew. I just added in the potatoes just uh, 15 minutes ago, and the squash also. Carrots, celery, a little bit of tomato paste. So, Thursday Riz Fave. My aunt, she would always make this with squash. She liked getting fresh squash. And she used to grow squash at the cornfield. Only thing I didn't add was corn though. We can do without the corn. As long as we have carrots. As long as we have carrots. I have two bags of carrots in here, so. Carrots is our favorite vegetable when it comes to stews. Carrots and celery. So that's our Thursday Rose favorite. <laughs> <clears throat> leftovers for church tomorrow. We're finally going back to church. And look who is finally live. <laughs> Are you Pablo? You love dinosaurs. He can watch Jurassic World 1 and 2 over and over and over and over. So it's good to see him and his son. Smart kid. Wow. Thanks, Brenda. Marcy Jones, Albuquerque is bad. They steal your vehicle with you in it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Paul didn't get it, Doctor. Everybody find a safe place there. Like, go to sleep. So he's going to Albuquerque this weekend. We planned on going, but I didn't know it was gathering. So <clears throat> I guess we might meet up with Pablo out there. Go eat with him. Oh, my dad, remember. Those are the... I know. Yeah. Comments he's getting. <laughs> Mr. Ryan's yeah. also on there. Yeah, Purple Thunder Knight's yeah. on there. Yeah, I think he forgot that he needed to go to. <laughs> Crystal, I am Jen, Yolanda. Phil Carter, the new Jurassic Park movie is coming out. He has it marked down on his calendar. <laughs> so. In yeah, that's our Thursday recipe. I can't wait to eat. She's gonna make some bread. So we'll see you guys when the dish is done. Okay, we're done with our Thursday Riz fave. Potatoes. Squash, carrots, celery, some meat in there. <clears throat> Got a fry bread. Josiah's already digging in. Same with Nevaeh. Oh, you gotta have bikani sauce too. Yeah. Sue's so getting ready to eat hers. Since he's already eating, I guess he'll do the taste testing. Right, babe? Yeah. Hold on, needs a little bit of salt. <laughs> this guy don't blow on his food. <laughs> you gotta blow on it before you put it in your mouth because it's too hot. It's really good. 
<clears throat> the muttons. It's very good. And then carrots are nice and soft too. See, he didn't blow on it. He just sucked it right in his mouth. <laughs> so tell these guys how your problem went. It went pretty good. It was pretty fun. Got to see some of my friends over there. Got to dance a few songs too. You danced? Mm hmm. Show us. Show us, Show us some moves right here. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So next is graduation, huh? Yep. So, yeah, that's it. We're just going to enjoy our meal. <clears throat> and leftovers for tomorrow. So, I guess we'll see you guys on next week's Thursday Riz Faith. Have a good night.